I saw that Hashem Itbarach with His wisdom, He was thinking in a better way than I. And I wanted to achieve those things right now. And I wanted to have those things immediately. But He knew better. He knew that I still don't have the vessels. So He chose to build those vessels for me. And to help me to work on my humility. And to work on my midot, all my attributes. That when I will receive that bounty, I'll have the way to hold it, to enjoy from it. If now you're thirsty and a person will throw water on you, just gonna wash you, you won't be satisfied. You want to receive your water in an honorable way, in a cup, that you will be able to say a blessing on it. You cannot say bracha, bless Hashem it barach, on, on, on water that are, are, are being thrown on your face. You cannot. It's humiliating, it's insulting, it's a shame. If now you're, you need money and someone will throw money on you like that, it's a disgrace. You don't want to receive in that way. You want with honor, you want to have a bank account to put your money in the bank, you want to have a wallet or at least a pocket. You need the vessels to contain the bounty. And Hashem Barach, He knows it. But we are so, so stressed and, 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 and so hungry and so lost that we're losing our mind from recognizing the amazing, precise, individual supervision of the Creator on every person, every individual, every single one of us. And He knows exactly what we need and what is needed for us and what is required for us really to achieve the purpose. And the purpose is to know Him, that He loves you with no end. That He's with you no matter what you do, no matter what happened with you, no matter what other people will say on you and going to think about you. You know in which tests King David was standing? You know who were the people that were fighting and arguing with King David? They were not Amar Atzot. They were not ignorant people that were just going and cursing him. Ah, who are you? No! We're talking about the biggest leaders of that generation, on the chief rabbis, on people that were sitting in court. We're talking about the judges of our nation, the people that were arguing with Moshe Rabbeinu in the days of Korach. They were the heads of courts, they were the chief rabbis, the heads of the holy tribes. We're talking about hundreds of righteous people. Geniuses, wise people, talented, gifted, ones that got the permission from heaven to lead our nation in the desert and in the days of exile in Egypt. But still, they were in that moment been chosen by Hashem to test Moshe Rabbeinu and to test King David. And King David and Moshe Rabbeinu and the rest of the righteous people in every generation are facing those people that are surrounding them and trying to shake their stability and to contradict on their healthy and stable and right assumptions and way of thinking in a healthy way and trying to sabotage and to destroy the connection of the poor souls that are desiring to come back to Hashem. And the evil inclination is celebrating and playing and being so happy and destroying and sabotaging and ruining souls, holy pure souls. So it's our war to fight for our people. It's our war to remind our friends that Hashem Barach never left us. That there is only one thing that is separating us from Him, and it's our thoughts. When you're positive, and you're facing Hashem, and you want Hashem, and you're desiring Hashem, and you do as much as you can, that's it, you're with Him. You're one with Him. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him. Never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks, husks.